What is going on guys? It has been a while. I did take a small break from YouTube, but I'm back, baby. Today, we're doing something a little special with my Ford emblems on my ST. So guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, first of all, I got these uh, emblem overlays from Shannon at That Decal Studio. Guys, I'll link her Etsy in the description box below. These have held up absolutely fantastic, and I'm actually keeping these ST inlays. The only thing I'm replacing today is uh, I got new emblem covers, and they're not vinyl. I'll go over here and show you exactly what they are in just a second, and guys, this wasn't peeling. I peeled this up a while ago just to see how hard these were going to be to get off. But these was kind of chipping right here, which is to be expected because these are just a vinyl sticker. I just wanted something that looked more like an emblem. Guys, you all go show Shannon some love. Like I said, I'll link her Etsy in the description box below. All right, guys, here are my new emblem covers. And guys, these are very unique. I've never seen these before. Like I said earlier, I don't remember how I got in touch with this company, but these are from ISFP Custom Emblems. I think they are based out of Canada. These are like a rubber made material that like flexes. And basically you can get any color you want. These are the first galaxy set they had ever done. So if you're doing like a custom set they never done before, expect longer wait times. I think I got these in three months. Uh, I think I paid around $50 for these, which isn't bad. Um, I just think these look like an actual emblem guys. And guys, I'm pretty positive these are guaranteed for five years. I'm going to read you a little bit of info about these. Like I said, these are from ISFP Custom Emblems. They are These are acrylic badge overlays that are marine rated and can be paint matched with PPG colors or vinyl. They are guaranteed never to chip, crack, fade, peel, pit, or dent like paint or vinyl. And guys, they have been in business since 2012. So like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a five year warranty on these. And guys, I just think these look absolutely incredible. Like I said, I knew the bigger sticker overlays was starting to peel. And I just think this is an absolute sweet option. They do offer the ST badges as well. I just really like the way my current ST badges look. And I didn't want to change that right now. Uh, maybe in the future, but for now, until my current ST badges start to peel or look bad, I'm just going to run them how they are. But I also think these look good with the black. My current emblems, I picked white, and I kind of wished I would have went with black originally. But these look absolutely sweet. Well, guys, let's get over there to my current emblems. Let's get the sticker overlays peeled off, and let's get prepped to uh, install these. And guys, basically... The only bad thing about these, you get one shot to install these because these are very sticky on the back. And like I said, these are very flexible, as you can see. Uh, these are just on cardboard, but uh, and they, these do have cl uh, plastic covers over them that I'll be able to take off here in just a second. But basically, the ins installation instructions, you actually glue these down onto your stock emblems. And guys, if you're interested, here are the instructions. You can kind of pause and uh, check these out. But basically right there, this overlay cannot be peeled up and reapplied. I mean, it's one and done. So you need to take your time, make sure you're getting it straight. And then down here, do not wash your vehicle for 24 hours after installation. Guys, I'm going to set the camera up, I'm going to get my old emblems off, and we're going to get these uh, prepped to uh, get these installed. Alright guys, so these were definitely awesome. Probably should have used a heat gun to get some of this gunk off, but it's okay because we are putting more glue on here. So I'm not worried about how these, not worried about how the stock emblem looks under here. Boom. Well, 
at least we know those uh, come off easy. So I'm actually gonna stick that somewhere. Okay. Guys, on the installation instructions, it says to use multi-surface cleaner to uh, clean. Oh, you know we all about that alcohol life here. I ain't gonna lie, I almost kind of want to do it without this glue. I don't know about this glue. Because if you ever change them or whatever, you know. How hard is this glue going to be to get off? So, but I'm going to follow the instructions because obviously I want the emblems to stay on. Let's just see. Let's just see here. Okay, so to break the glue, you press this black dot in, you can hear it break. Okay, yeah, and here comes the glue. So guys, it just says to apply this glue all over your emblem. Try my best not to get it on the bumper, even though my bumper is basically destroyed anyways. It's got bug guts and I think the original owner of this car, he did not take care of it like uh, I do. So yeah, I think uh, the bumper is either going to have to be replaced or like repaint it one day because it's no matter what I do to the bumper or hood, I've tried paint correcting and everything and it just don't, it don't work out very good. This is actually, this is a little more simpler than I thought it was going to be. First, when I seen put glue on the emblem, I was kind of intimidated. I was like, man, I don't know if I want to put glue on uh, this or not, but it actually wasn't so bad. So I'm going to flip this up. Guys, I'm just gonna kind of go for it. And uh, yeah, I just kind of sent it, so. Guys, those are sick. Oh, hang on. Let me kind of wipe this off where I've got it all hand printed up. And, uh, man, wait till you see this, guys. Ooh, guys, take a look at these. Oh, my goodness. Galaxy ST badge. The new Galaxy Ford emblem, guys. I mean, look at that. That looks just like, I mean, that looks just like an emblem, feels like an emblem. Guys, that looks absolutely incredible. I am super pumped. Guys, comment down below, honest opinions. I think this looks absolutely spectacular all right guys i'm gonna pull the car up and uh, i'm gonna do the back and i'll show you the current state of how the back emblem is i don't think the back emblem has been chipped or uh, cracked at all or peeled like i said i think the only reason the front one did is because it's such a large area and this is where all the bug guts and rocks and everything fly when you're driving down the road anyways 
Guys, huge shout out to ISFP Custom Emblems. I will link them in the description box below if y'all are interested in these. Man, tell them a Brian Lewis vlog sent you. Guys, these look absolutely incredible. Man, I desperately need to get to the back. But guys, I just cannot quit staring at this. I mean, man. I love the galaxy theme on this Focus ST. Alright, y'all have to excuse the car. It's just dusty from setting this winter. But yeah, and I kind of messed up on this one when I put it on. You can still see a little bit of chrome up top here. But uh, like I said though, peeling wise, it ain't peeling at all. So, let's get this one off and we'll get the other one installed. And before I get started, if anybody was curious of what they look like side by side. Like I said, nothing against these vinyl overlays. These obviously look really good. But, um, man, the emblems just look real good. But, I like these inlays. Um, for now, this is what I'm sticking with. And guys, I just think that looks absolutely sick. Like I said, I'll link both of these businesses in the description box below. And whatever route y'all want to go with, you can choose. But I'm just giving y'all some options. I'm running both routes. Because I love these emblems, but I like the ST inlays. Um, so, anyways, let me set this up and we'll get this one installed. Sorry for the terrible angle. The only thing I hate about vlogging alone is... No cameraman. It's just YouTube's much easier with the cameraman. Shout out to my dude Steven Stack. We do not get to film together as much as we used to. But man, I miss it. I miss it. Stack, we need to collab more, do more things. Guys, if you're curious what I'm putting down horsepower wise and torque with this thing on E30. Comment down below. I think uh, we need a dyno day with uh, Steven Stack, S Square Customs, and Regal Motorsports very soon. So I'm curious what this thing's running as well. Man, I need to wipe this thing off. This thing is filthy. She garage kept, but she's dusty too. Man, is she dusty. All you professional detailers in the comments below, don't come after me because I'm just dry wiping. We'll be fine. She's at 18 with 90,000 miles on her. She will be just fine. Promise you owner number one did way, way worse of a job taking care of this thing than I am because this paint was rough when I got it. Anyways, all right. I just wanted to kind of Wipe it off a little bit. Let's get that old magic juice, a little 91%. Dump her on this rough and ready rag here. And it is indeed rough and ready. I come with this black dot pop it that lets the glue come down and through give her a couple shakes press it and boom you have glue like I said I need to follow the instructions just to make sure I do exactly what they tell me to do so like I said I'm pretty sure this guy told me five-year warranty on these If y'all are watching at the watching at the custom emblem company, thank you all so much. All right, got a little thin layer of glue on there, guys. Like I said, you get one shot at this, so make it count. 
And hopefully I line this better up better than I did the uh, emblem overlays. And I don't leave any chrome showing. look awesome guys check that out that looks absolutely incredible that looks sick guys so pretty I want to put the lighter color on the back the front one's a little darker guys what do y'all think comment down in the description box below It's flush too. It looks just like a normal emblem. That's absolutely crazy. Well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to ISFP Custom Emblems. Like I said, I'm gonna link them in the description box below. I'm also gonna link Shannon in the detail, the decal studio, uh, her Etsy store in my description box as well. Guys, like I said, visit www.panamotorworks.com. Use code B Lewis to save yourself some money on all these mods I've done to my focus. If you're needing any LED bulbs for any vehicle, auxedo.com, guys, it'll all be linked in the description box below. Auxedo's code to save 15% off is Brian Lewis. Again, all that info down in the description box below. What else is down in the description box below is Amazon links. Guys, you see the tools I use in these videos. You see my little tabletop, all my work lights, all these weed eaters and stuff I take care of my property with. Guys, all those are linked down in the description box below. Click the link, purchase anything at no extra charge to you. It does help the channel out. I do get a little kickback on those things, just as I do with Panda Motor Works and Auxedo, just being up front with you all. Um, but anyways, the biggest way to help me, guys, is just to make sure you hit the subscribe button. That's the biggest thing, guys. We're almost at 3,000 subs. Thank you all so much, especially those of you who've been here since day one. Y'all mean the world to me. Guys, what should I do to the focus next? Comment down below. Guys, until next time.